don't forget that this tutorial is part of a series of tutorials which you can access on our YouTube playlist or alternatively if you would like to you can purchase the whole course on Udemy there should be a link to the YouTube playlist and a link to our Udemy course which should always provide the best price in the video description. In Django you can define a verbose name for your models and their fields to provide a more human readable representation in various contexts including the Django admin interface. So the verbose name that we're going to set is going to be the human readable name for your object typically used in the Django admin interface. This can also be used for example forms which is predominantly where it's placed in the Django admin site. Right so let's go ahead and set the category again. Now it might be that your class names here are something that's very particular to your development but doesn't translate well in the Django admin site. So let's go ahead and set the create a new class uh, the meta class here and then let's go ahead and set the verbose uh, name. Okay so verbose name equals uh, and we'll set this to inventory category, inventory, inventory category for now. So what we can also do in addition to that is set the verbose um, name plural because normally what happens is that Django just puts an S on the end of everything. And of course, that's not the way to spell categories. So let's set the verbose name plural and that equals uh, categories. And there we go. So if we now navigate back into the admin site, oh, zoom in a bit. There we go. It's probably easier to see. And then we we'll go ahead and refresh. You can now see that categories have changed here on the left hand side to use the plural. And you can see here, here it says select inventory category to change. So just a few changes there. You can also use the verbose name on or at the field level. So let's change, for example, the name here. We can specify the verbose name. So let's change the name to first name, for example, although that doesn't make any sense at this point, but you get the general idea. So the, we're just changing the name, verbose name. So let's go back to the admin site and we'll go into a field and you can now see we've updated that field name. So to summarize, the verbose names enhances the clarity and usability of your Django admin interface and potentially anywhere where you're going to be utilizing a form. 